What's up guys, today we're going to be replacing a tailgate latch on my 2001 Toyota Tundra. As you can see, it's been disintegrated after about 20 years of use. So, we're going to be popping it out and putting in a new one from Toyota. So you're going to want to start by opening your tailgate. I know some guys have the problem where they can't open it because the latch snapped off or whatnot. So you're going to want to do this from the inside of your bed and uh, we're going to start by taking off this bed, bed liner panel and there's eight of these uh, torque screws that you're going to want to remove to get this panel off. So we're going to start by doing that. So if your tailgate latch is broken and you can't get the tailgate open, um, from the inside, you're going to want to take this panel off, like I said, to access this, the assembly here. And these arms are what the latch is hooked up to to keep the tailgate closed. So after you get that panel off, you're going to want to just push these arms together and the tailgate will be able to open. First, we're going to want to unhinge these arms from the latch. And there will be these little plastic pieces that just hook right on. You just want to take them off and then the arm will unhinge itself, will pop out of place. You're just gonna wanna leave it there. There's another one. There we go, got it. It's kinda of hard to get it off because my latch is falling out of the, falling out of place. So I'm gonna unhook these arms. After you get these arms off here, there's two 10 millimeter bolts here that you're gonna wanna remove. But on mine, after the arms popped off, the the latch just kind of fell down because the plastic snapped on both of these. But to put the new one out, we're going to want to take both these bolts out. Like I said, they're 10 millimeters. To get the whole thing off, you're going to need to take out your lock. And to get this off, there'll be a clip like this that you're going to need to remove to get the lock out. And you can see here on the new one, how the lock is uh, propped in there. So you need to tug on it, maybe pry it out a little bit with a flathead just to get that clip off. And then the lock here will just uh, should pop out of place like this. So you're gonna wanna hold on to this and maybe this, but the new, the new latch should come with another clip. Now you're gonna wanna slide your lock back in or into the new one here and make sure the clip is holding it in, so when you're installing it, the clip doesn't just fall out. So we're gonna prop it back in there. Now that you got it in, you're just gonna wanna put in those 10 millimeter bolts into the fittings. Now when you get the whole thing securely fastened, you just wanna put these arms back into their little slots. We'll just pop in and then these will latch right to the arm like that there we go you should be all done you just have to make sure it works um, it would help if you grease it up a little bit some WD-40 sprayed in there but it works like a charm you're just gonna need to button it up, put this panel back on. Boom, all buttoned up. Now let's see if it works. There we are. Oh yeah, like a charm. I will say, I kinda messed up the first time. When you are bolting it back into the tailgate with the two bolts here on the inside, you have to make sure while you're doing that, the seal is perfectly symmetrical around it. Because I ended up, the seal was misplaced, so I had to do it all over again. But yeah, there we go. It works like a charm.